Howdy partners or boyos if you're here visiting, this is Nalik Dreams and we're back from the Wild West with another video on a hero loadout and we're going to be taking a look at the very popular first shot Rio. Although since the rework her perk has been changed so I don't know if anyone's given much thought to the fact that she might be called 6 shot Rio or 2 shot Rio if you're looking at her in the support. But maybe for the purpose of this video we'll just call her undecided shot Rio. Now for any of you that don't happen to have Rio, she was part of the road trip event and she's not currently available in the game so you're probably going to have to use one of those hero vouchers in order to recruit her from the collection book. But we're just going to jump right into her perks and abilities here. She's got Warcry, Frag Grenade, and Shockwave lined up for the abilities. And for her perk, she's got First Assault, which is after reloading assault weapons, the next six shots have a 100% critical chance. And I do want to point out for the people that can get confused with this, that it only works with assault rifles. I know in the past, a lot of people thought that this could be used to trigger some really good crit shots with snipers. But it just doesn't work that way. You have to use an assault rifle to be able to trigger this ability. And we're going to back out to the team perk here. You're going to want to run Preemptive Strike as it's the only one that really gives a damage bonus without taking too much of a hit in another department. Then up for the support team, we've got Base Solo. Each elimination during Warcry extends the duration by 0.4 seconds up to a maximum of 15 eliminations. Locked and reloaded. After reloading, it increases weapon damage by 15% for 5 seconds. Switching weapons removes this buff. Then we got Assault Damage, which is going to increase your Assault Rifle damage by 17%. And in this slot, you can run two different ones. You've got practiced in combat, which is going to increase war cry duration by three seconds. Or you can scroll through here and find the wildcat with leadership. Decreases war cry cooldown by 17%. This is actually the one that I would recommend for this slot as you'll get your war cry up more often rather than just adding on a few more seconds at the end of it. And then for the last slot, we've got assault critical damage, which is going to increase your assault rifle critical damage by 75%. And lastly, for your gadgets, you can run slow field, stationary hover turret, whatever you feel comfortable with here. If you are more of an adrenaline rush player, just put whatever you're comfortable with in this slot. But before we head into some gameplay, I want to go over to the schematics and show you the weapon loadout you're going to want to use as Rio does focus a very specific set of assault rifles that she can take advantage of. You're going to want to run a bundle bus in your first slot, and in your second slot, you have a Dragoon for some AoE clear. And the last slot is where it gets up for debate based upon personal preference. I personally would would recommend the hammer crush but we'll compare the stats here why i believe that this is the best one in the category so we'll first take a look at the hydra versus the hammer crush you can see here that the crit damage is 25 percent higher than the hydras as well as the fire rate while the hydra does have a higher base damage and headshot damage this is where your damage is going to pull ahead and you also have a little bit more range now if we back out of this one and we compare the hydra to the rat king you can see that there is a better range on the rat king here but you're still keeping that higher crit damage and fire rate which is going to close that gap as you'll be able to put out more shots faster and that'll be able to close the dps gap between this base damage being higher on the hydra and the rat king but this is just why I believe that the Hammer Crush is better than the Rat King and the Hydra in this scenario with Rio. Maybe in the future I can do a versus video where I compare all three of them and see which actually pulls the top damage. But since this video is just focused around Rio, we're just going to stick with one. And the last thing that I want to show you is the build that you're going to want to use on a Hammer Crush. Since you're going to be getting a 100% crit rating, you don't need to put any crit rating inside of the weapon build itself. So go ahead and go with a crit damage, crit damage, and then get that reload speed and then you can choose whichever element you're going to want to use and then try to get damage to afflicted or snared to match up with your six perk whichever you're going to be using but with all that out of the way we can go ahead and get into some gameplay and see how this build works out now with first shot rio it's not like your traditional assault rifle builds you're going to be reloading often to activate your perk with your crits so that's why we went with the reload speed and the double crit damage and the weapon rolls in order to try and trigger the crits as quickly as possible and do as much damage as you can at the same time. Since there's such a small window to try and maximize on this damage output, you're going to really want to make sure that you're trying to hit your headshots as much as possible. And the Hammer Crush definitely has a good amount of crit damage going for it. People have been sleeping on it for a while, you know, with all the hype around the Hydra and thinking that the Rat King is, you know, a close second to the Hydra. Not a lot of people gave much thought to the Hammer Crush and how it could excel at a crit build. They kind of just directly go to the Hydra and the Rat King when thinking of a weapon of this category. This loadout really excels at killing Mist Monsters, so that's mainly what you're going to want to focus. The Dragoon is there to make sure that you don't get overwhelmed with large groups of Husks. 
discs, but you're mainly going to be focusing your assault rifles here with your bundle bus and your hammer crush in order to focus down miss monsters. Whether it's a physical smasher or an elemental smasher, you can decide in that instance whether you're going to use the bundle bus or your elemental hammer crush. Another thing to note is that Warcry works really well with this build and has a lot of synergy in being able to pop off the six shots really fast with that increased fire rate and put them at an increased damage. So when you activate your Warcry, you're really going to want to focus on Carlos's perk and making sure that you keep your Warcry going by getting eliminations. One way that you can do this is right after you actually pop Warcry, Go ahead and pull out your Jagoon and get kills on a large group of husks, as well as maybe use your Shockwave in order to get a lot of husk eliminations. You'll lose out on a couple of seconds of damage from the beginning, but you'll be adding more onto the end and extending that duration for your Warcry. Rio really improved with the hero rework in some ways. She did get her passive fire rate increase on a reload taken away. However, I think that it's a good trade-off with getting the six crit shots because that allows you a much more reliable damage source. And since we did get some support team perks in order to boost Warcry and keep it going as well as lowering the cooldown for it, I think that this is definitely a way to actually accommodate for the loss of the reload speed. And while Rio isn't the best in terms of reliable sustained DPS, it's still a really fun build to run and get these crits off and see how high the damage numbers hit. When all the crits are adding up and seeming to melt miss monsters in just a few shots, it's definitely adding a fun factor in the sense of being able to see a reliable burst damage and see how those shots actually end up depleting things like a smasher's health bar really quickly. And I like to think that Epic knew what they were doing here by adding a diverse way to play assault rifles and not just going with the same old spray your weapon and empty the clip and hope the damage stacks up with a good DPS. And as time goes on, I would like to see them do more stuff with each type of weapon for each class. There could be something, you know, really fun going on with just different types of shotguns and pistols or even melee weapons that could have been perked or rolled a different way, adding a diverse gameplay, but they just need something to back it up in the build with the hero. But that's about it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments if you like this loadout. These crit builds can be really fun, and I actually like the way they changed First Shot Rio to have six shots instead of just one after the reload so that you can see how that damage stacks up and how quickly it could actually kill a husk. But I just want to thank you all again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.